A lot of people said that Cypher would not do well here. A lot of people said that Cypher was bad on Icebox as well. And a lot of people don't understand Cypher. We're gonna go through some Cypher setups now. We're gonna look for God Cams, God Tripwires, God Smokes, and uh, God Setups. We're gonna break them out for Cypher. This, this is a setup here for uh, one way on uh, mid doors. For anyone who tune in, tunes in right now, you go on this small like box here, set up the camera on the corner. You want this camera on the corner because it allows you to see enemies coming in cave and you have to go close to the doorway in order to go in to see the camera. But then also this. And I, th I think that we can place the camera in different spots as well. But this is just an example camera. Tripwire goes here. Like that. Cage here. And then you sit in camp here, put up a fire in the water, because that's physics, and you wait. If you crouch, you don't even stand up in, in there and no, nobody will see you. And let's say that, that enemies come in, you ping, bam. Shoot them. However, be careful that they don't walk to the side there. And what we could also do is um, have it like this, you know, if you want more cover enemies that are on that side but that's more like you have to be planning ahead in, in in the future so to say and what it looks like for the enemies when they walk in let's say that they walk in here they check for the tripwire and check angles bam bam there's a the smoke they can see you if you peek out on the thingy there very nice i like this then we go for a cave unfortunately we couldn't find a one way for this but um it's similar to bind B, B long, where you can place a tripwire like this, or far down like that. If you face no rays, no Yoru, nothing, you know, that can use uh, uh, anything, you know, abilities to um, to just scout the tripwire with. You can put it down here, or you can put it at eye level height when you crouch. And then something like this. And now when enemies walk in, they get stuck. Bam, where, where's the tripwire? And... If you if you're skilled, right? If you're skilled, you know you you will be able to figure out where it is. But for anyone who is uh, who's not used to dealing with uh, these type of cages, you won't be able to see where the tripwire is because we're hiding the edges. So that could be one of the places that we can go for here. And it's I'm on high settings right now, and it's right by this square here, like that. Maybe a bit more to the to the left, but yeah. If we then turn down. Turn it down to low because we want to be able to do the same thing on low. Yes, the square is there. Right was well, like we have we need leaves, but also sloth, and then make sure that every every cipher main can still do some crazy lineups very easily by placing a square there. And this square is essential. Like this sloth. This sloth is gonna guard you. Nice. So here is a one-way setup for B may uh Here's a setup for B tunnel. And we start off by running in like this. It's similar to B split. Like that. Just, you know, it's very easy to set up. If you lose the cage, you just pick it up if it's in the by phase. Trip wire that goes here. But keep in mind that if you want a good cam, you won't be able to see this area. So if enemies shoot it out, they're most likely here if you don't see it on, on the camera. Alternat alternatively, you can put it up here. And then it's right at the end or right at the middle of the one way. And it can be a bit easier to work with, but I would recommend to put it here. Maybe put it like this, a bit deeper in. So enemies walk up, they can... Uh, you, don't wanna, you don't wanna let them walk up and uh, on the box at all. So put it like this. And then for your camera, keep in mind that if you want vision on that area there, you have to deal with the pillar or... You have to put it like uh, far back there or something, you know, it's it's not very like easy, but I would go for this camera here on the side like that. And now you see enemies there and you also see enemies that are running through B main. And uh, let's say that enemies are coming in. All right, Billy, your your friend Billy from school is shouting, enemies B, enemies, enemies mid, enemies mid, going B, going B. And then... Tripwire triggered. Cage triggered. You just 
start shooting here underneath. Right? We move. And your friend Billy is going to get amazed. Because there's no, there, it's not very easy to counter this position. What it looks like from inside, very, very hidden. So I think that's a very good, good um, position there for the one way. And to show where it lands, it lands right on the edge of this lamp. So that's a very good one. B main setup. Let's do a B main setup. It's going to be this one here. One ways didn't work, unfortunately, because uh, too far up. And enemies, they can see you here. They will see your uh, everything. They will see everything you have. And uh, you have no business doing a one way. Then we do a normal smoke. Like that. On that corner there. That way we hide the edges of the smoke when enemies walk in. And that way we can also ac activate it right before. And for your camera, I would recommend maybe something over there. You can scout enemies coming up with. However, you can't scout enemies close yeah. to that area there. And that's a good spot if you want to use uh, the one way there. However, however, if you don't want to use it, you can do the same camera as on Ascent or on Split B site. Where you put it up like this. And enemies won't be able to uh, to spot you. It's a very good, good camera, this one. And it's also good versus a more defensive... Uh, well, more... Lenient, I guess, uh, hold on mid tunnel as well. So I think that would be nice. 